You're listening to the Edge of Faith podcast with your host, Raya Cleary, where today we're speaking with young actress Maya Horcher and her involvement in the upcoming movie, Switched. So Hello. thank you so much for joining us today, Maya. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> <laughs> so how about we start off by giving our listeners a little bit of background into the movie that you're starring in, Switched. Um, yeah. So it has been described as a Christian take on the well-known plot of Freaky Friday. Based, um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so Switched is about two girls who switch their minds, not really their bodies, and they basically get to see what life is like through their eyes, or as we put it, um, putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And you, each girl learns a lot about each other and how... Um, and how crazy, although people can, you know, put up of a front of being like super confident and happy where really their life at home could be really hard on them. And um, yeah, so it's just about two girls who switch bodies and live life through each other for a little minute and actually become great friends. So <laughs> yeah, what I really liked about it was compared to a lot of the other plots of this type is that it had a really strong anti-bullying message and more of like faith-based. Um, but why don't you tell us a bit about your character, Cassandra, that you play in Switch? Yeah. Um, so Cassandra is a very outgoing yet super shy and introverted girl. She's so curious with life, but she's also trying to push past these boundaries of, you know, being confident with her music and being confident with herself. And I think that's why she, in a way, looks up to Katie Sharp, not for the fact of her bullying her, but more for the fact of having that confidence and um, with herself and her brand as a person. Because as you probably know, Cassandra is a great guitarist and she has always been um, super shy about putting herself out there, but she's also really wanting to do that because she wants to get into Juilliard and all these amazing schools. And um, yeah, she's awesome though. And it's crazy how much I relate to her as a character. So I'm glad I got to book it because I actually had to bring her to life because I have struggled with a lot of the things that she goes through as well. So yeah. <laughs> I can feel the enthusiasm coming off you. It feels like you're really- I love it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. It's so good to see all your passion. Um, so you. what do you think that, um, what do you think this is important about this movie for youth groups? Um, well, it's like it is now. Um, um, everything is online nowadays. And this does deal, like Switch does deal a lot with cyberbullying. Because as you see in the movie trailer, she... Um, does this whole prank on her where she pours all this gross milk on her and she posts it all over her social media and nowadays so cyberbullying is and I feel like has always been a real issue that a lot of people don't really know how to deal with and it's horrible but um yeah I think it just for people that are watching it a younger I hope this movie brings a message of you know you never know what someone may be going through so treat everyone with kindness and lead with love because that's like the main thing that is I feel like it's such a great message especially during this whole year it's like lead yeah. with love because I think we need more of that in this world so <laughs> yeah yeah um and how do you think that audience will audiences will respond to the story because as you said it is quite relatable and a lot of people do go through cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, from my personal experience of like seeing how a lot of, um, just by, I guess, bringing that movie to life, like I feel like a lot of people are going to enjoy because it is a family friendly movie and it, and it can teach kids a lot about just, you know, treating others with how you want to be treated. And I guess, uh, really people are gonna I, th I personally think people are gonna love it I got the pleasure to watch it already because I had to like uh do a bunch of ADR for it so I got to see some clips and I was like this is amazing so I really hope people love it as much as I do because it's it has such a great message along with it being super funny and also really just like it's it's awesome so I hope people love it I think they'll love it so I think people will respond great <laughs> yeah I, I couldn't agree more this is actually one of my favorite plots um Ooh. I always yeah, I loved like the Freaky Friday version. And then when yeah. I saw this, I just thought this was even better. I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't think anything could actually outdo Freaky Friday, but yeah. had, um, that heartwarming aspect to it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think the big difference is where in a lot of the other plots, 
it's a very the switch occurs from like an unexplained magic whereas yeah. in this movie there's a bit of um a the guidance of god which is a bit mm -hmm. more comforting because it's a bit more mm -hmm. relatable and you can grasp to it um yeah. Yeah, so I thought that was really, really comforting. So, um, and I think a lot of youth are seeking guidance from those type of bullying situations and need something to grasp. Yeah, 100%. I, I totally agree with you when it comes to like, just even if you aren't religious, just knowing that you still have that guidance from up above, like it's, it gives such a peace at heart. So it's like, yeah, I love that. So I agree. <laughs> yeah, it was that aspect that this movie really brought to the screen that other mm -hmm. plots haven't. Um, so what advice would you give for young people who are struggling with um, bullying or cyberbullying and who are looking for guidance? Um, I would just say to them, uh, you're not alone. I know that I feel like a lot of people do say that, but I truly believe that no one is ever really alone. I, I have felt that during my life and I would never wish that upon anyone. And I'm glad that I was able to talk to my parents or even if you don't, have like a close relationship with them like you can talk to your siblings or you can talk to teachers counselors anything like that i i truly believe that um and even as weird as it is praying helps so much and i don't think it's weird either because i i'm super religious so i especially if i'm struggling or going through something even if it's good or bad i always just pray about it and i know it may seem hard at the moment but i promise it'll all pay off in the end and the, there is light at the end of the tunnel so it's just knowing that you aren't alone and that you're so worth every bit of your life and god made you in his image and it's you're supposed to be here and you're meant to be here and that's all that matters so yeah that's really fantastic advice especially someone your age um I hope it reaches, you know, people, viewers that really need it at the moment. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I've been bullied before during a school and all of that. And um, I was homeschooled for majority of my life. But even when I was in public school, there is many times where it got tough. But, you know, you just got to keep pushing because it'll be worth it. It'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. It'll be good. Yeah, I can hear it through your voice. You're really speaking from experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. I know that um, I, for one, will definitely be watching it. Um, but do you have, as I'm watching it, do you have a favorite scene that you think I should look oh. out for? Yeah, um, it's so hard to choose which favorite scene because I, I was thinking about it and I, when I watched the movie. I was like, which one was my favorite, but I would say the most fun um, was filming any scene that, where I had to get stuff in my hair or I got to get like food and stuff. Like it was the best part with the whole cake scene and then getting the milk spilled on me. Like those were so fun, even though they looked not fun at all, but they were a lot of fun. But I, I would have to say each, it's hard to choose a favorite because each scene has their own little message in it. And no matter like, and the character arcs in each scene just kind of grows every time. So it's so hard to choose like a favorite, I guess you could say so. The whole movie, the whole movie's a favorite. <laughs> I have to yeah. say, even just from the trailer, your acting is phenomenal. When, you, when I saw Thank that milk you. scene, you just, you looked really like, you know, a kid who was being bullied. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was, I, even when I watched it back, I was like, wow, I did that? Like, what? I, I did that? <laughs> I surprised myself a little bit. I like, because when you're doing it, you don't, you obviously can't watch yourself from another person's perspective. So it's like, I, we only did that also in about one take because it was hard to set up the whole, the whole like thing. So that was all like really in one take from my point of view. And then they did Katie's point of view after. So yeah, it was, it was a, gotta go big or go home with that. So. Wow. Well, wow. congratulations yeah. on that one. That Thank it, you. I would never have guessed it was one take. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was like, I think they did one take with it spilling and then another one with me running away, but the whole spill was just like one time. So, wow. Yeah. Very Thank good. You. <laughs> so, uh, where can audiences and myself watch Switch? Mm -hmm. Um, well, it comes out tomorrow, September 4th, on uh, video on demand and digital TV, I think. And so you can find it on like Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Comcast, DirecTV, stuff like that. And then October 6th, it comes out in DVD. And I did see on, on October 7th, it comes out in the UK. So a lot of stuff happening in October, but tomorrow is like the big day where people can actually stream it. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see it, actually. Um, 
So yeah, I, it's definitely making my movie list because um, I just think it's brilliant about, especially that faith-based message and mm -hmm. just the, the really strong anti-bullying, which really has been kind of glided over in a lot of previous blocks. Yeah, 100%. Just, yeah. So um, I guess thank you so much for your time, Maya. Um, of course, and, thank you for having me. <laughs> and it's, it's specifically your involvement in just bringing across anti-bullying messages to young people. I think it's quite inspirational. I think you should be really proud of yourself. Thank yeah. you so much. I, I appreciate that a lot. Like if I can put a nice message out there, we're doing the thing that I love. That's the best part. So <laughs> yeah. Thank you perfect. so much for everything. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And I hope to see you on the screen. Yes, I can't <laughs> wait for everyone to see it. <laughs> perfect.